I never really considered myself an artist, but doing photography and trying new things made me feel like one. To choose the images that I wanted to include in this activity, I went through all of my photo gallery and past projects. During this process, I kept in mind that I wanted my photos to fit into three categories. Most proud of, spike of creativity, and happy memories. These three themes are what inspire me when I do photography. This is the representation of my work and how I see it. I call this image a cozy setup, and I think it seems pretty fitting. I took the bunch of cookies that I made and tried to make it look natural in the scenery. I imagined a comfortable Sunday afternoon. I tried to take this shot in different angles, but only this one seemed to be suitable, the way every detail is captured on the frame. I just love how tranquilizing it looks, with the warmth of the lamp and the comfort food that are cookies. This one was for an assignment where I had to create a picture. I chose the well-known Afghan Girl by Steve McCurry. It was kind of difficult to execute it, since I wanted it to be as close from the original as possible. To do so, I hanged a green shirt on the table behind me, wrapped a maroon scarf around my head, took my nightstand lamp and put it right behind the camera and then clicked. Honestly, I was pretty surprised to succeed on the second try. To me, recreating is not stealing as long as you don't take all the credit. Here I wanted to honor an incredible famous image and continue its legacy in the world of photography. This one was also part of the same assignment, but this shot was much trickier to take. The lighting is so precise and the biggest problem was that I could not have a light fixture close enough to the white blank wall, so it was definitely a challenge. I was really proud of how it turned out, with the help of my two sisters. What I love about this image is its elegance. I love how simple yet elaborated it looks. The book lover that I am always wanted to do a shot like this one, so I did. I hanged a white blanket over my desk, piled up some of my favorite graphic novels. By the way, you can see Les Carnets de Cerise. I don't know if they are available in English, but in case they are, I highly recommend them. I love how this image represents my love for books, and I would definitely try and do it again with other of my favorite books, or do multiple ones with different color schemes. One day, I was searching for inspiration on you guessed it, Pinterest, and found a tutorial on how to do a fake golden hour effect, so of course I had to try it. Let's just say it was not easy, but I think it turned out so cool. I like the fact that I was improving my photo editing skills, and I love the warming feeling of the results and the effect of the light stripes. That's why I decided to include it in this category, because it allowed me to take my creativity to the next level. This one was totally random. I was on a bike ride with my little sister at the park next to our house when I saw the opportunity of a good shot. I really quickly went back home, grabbed my camera, went back to the park and started clicking. It may look easy like this, but trust me, it wasn't. The amount of times I asked my sister to go back and cross the path again, she might have got a little mad at me. When I look at now, I really like the results. When I edited this photo, I also noticed something about it. I watched a show called Stranger Things, I'm pretty sure you already know about it. And it made me think of it. The kids on the bikes, the twisted trees. There's just something that makes me think about this show. This is a sort of place inside the park that me and my family pass in front of every time we go on a bike ride. These little berries also used to be in my grandma's garden, so they make me think about her. I love the coincidence that her favorite color was red. I actually never know if these berries are toxic or not. Either way, I'm not sure if I would eat them. What I like about this photo is how the light of the camera's flash is focused on the branch and how it highlights the color of the berries. This is my best friend Julie. Last July, her and I with our friend Fiona went on a three-day trip to the beach with Fiona's mom. They were not the best three days weather-wise, but everything else was a dream. This is definitely my favorite memory with them. On our last day there, we decided to go for a walk and took some photos. At the time, I didn't have a camera, but I think my phone worked just fine. It was just the three of us at the beach, alone. It was very windy. 
and we just had a lot of fun posing and trying photography tricks that we had seen on social media. We really had the best time. This is the view from my uncle and aunt's apartment in the middle of Paris. My mom and sisters would always go there on school breaks to visit museums and see our family. Paris trips really are some of the best traveling memories I have. I remember taking this photo on our first day. I never really wanted to edit it. Yes, you heard me right. This photo is not edited at all. It has to be one of the best sunsets I have ever captured. I love how the bright colors contrast with the beige and gray architecture of Paris. And here they are, the nine photos that I think represent my work the best.